Do you have any idea of the secrets our planet holds? From a majestic satanic tablet in Edinburgh's Holyrood Park, to an impressive jadeite tool that seems to contradict everything we know about the technological advances of ancient civilizations. In this video, we bring you some of the most mysterious artifacts that raise more questions than they provide answers. For example, how could an Egyptian portal in the Andes called Napa Iglesia exist? Or how to explain the lead sarcophagus discovered in Granada? Dive into the mystery with us and uncover the stories behind these incredible finds? The Satanic Plaque in Holyrood Park in Edinburgh In the remote recesses of Edinburgh's Royal Park Holyrood, a find has been discovered that blurs the boundaries between history, mythology and mystery. Archaeologists have unearthed two mysterious artifacts, an eerie metal plaque and an altar. Tucked away on Winnie Hill above St. Margaret's Lock, the artifacts were found dug into a triangular piece of turf area, remaining inconspicuous in the landscape. The park itself is steeped in royal history. It serves, as it were, as a fascinating backdrop to all the history. It was established as a royal hunting ground by King David I of Scotland in 1128 and has served as the primary residence of Scottish kings and queens ever since. The metal plate is a chilling image of an inverted pentagram with a horned beast at the base. It's a symbol that seems to resonate with different interpretations, some associate it with Satanism and devil worship, while others see it as an ancient pagan emblem. The altar that accompanied the slab is believed to have been surrounded by ritual objects that remain undisclosed. This is where the story gets even stranger due to the fact that the artifacts mysteriously disappear before further investigation is conducted. When the archaeologists return to the site, they find nothing but holes in the grass, leaving behind more questions than answers. The whereabouts of the artifacts and the results of the investigation remain a mystery to this day. This intriguing discovery sparked different opinions from the expert community. Mark Black, president of the Pagan Council of the United Kingdom, perceives these objects as pagan, mainly based on the pentagram symbol. The five-pointed star has a deep history that goes back to ancient Greece and Babylonia. The Celtic pagans and Druids believed that the five points represented the five elements of earth, air, fire, water and spirit, which were connected in the circle of life, death and rebirth. Interestingly, the central figure of the intended pentagram may be Cernunnos, the horned god of Celtic polytheism, known as the god of fertility, life, animals, wealth and the underworld. Nevertheless, the mystery persists. The modern appearance of the slab, its proximity to the surface, and its embedding in concrete, a material not usually associated with pagan artifacts, cast doubt on its pagan roots. Furthermore, the orientation of the star, with the point down, departs from the pagan norm, in which it usually points upwards, symbolizing the spirit's dominion over the four elements. High Quality Jadeite Tool Anthropologist Heather McKillop discovers astonishing evidence of the economic power of the ancient Maya beneath the surface of a salt lagoon off the southern coast of Belize. The find is a jadeite tool of the highest quality, its Honduran rosewood handle remarkably well preserved even after thousands of years of sleeping beneath the waves. The instrument represents a significant relic from the classic Maya period. It offers profound insights into the complex mechanisms of society more than a thousand years ago. The story of this find begins with salt, a basic and coveted resource in the Maya diet, a preservative for fish and meat, and a form of wealth. In the ancient Maya inland cities of the southern lowlands of Belize, however, salt was scarce. The solution? Salt mines and workshops along the coast where brine was collected and evaporated to produce salt in large quantities. The ancient Maya salt makers in the Azure Caribbean Sea were more than just workers, they were successful entrepreneurs whose craft was an important link in the chain of the Maya market economy. Equipped with tools such as the jadeite artifact, 
they were charged with the important task of producing salt, contributing to the prosperity of their society. The tool itself was probably used for operations such as scraping salt or preparing fish. It is an unprecedented marvel of ancient craftsmanship. Jadeite is a hard and often translucent stone. It was commonly used and kept to create unique and intricate objects such as plaques, figurines and earrings for royalty and the Mayan elite. Therefore, the discovery of such a high-quality jadeite tool among the utilitarian tools of salt workers adds new questions to our understanding of ancient Maya society and economy. The site of the find is a network of 110 ancient salt pans called Ekwe Nal. It covers an area of three square miles, which is now completely submerged underwater due to sea level rise. The waterlogged soil of the surrounding mangrove forest, known as peat, has miraculously preserved wooden artifacts that would otherwise have decayed in the rainforests of Central America. Napa Iglesia, Egyptian portal in the Andes. Napa Iglesia, also known as Napa Waka, is a sacred place nestled in the heart of the Andes, a testament to the mysteries that history often presents. This fascinating place, carved with almost impossible precision into the side of a vertical ravine, tells a story that spans continents and millennia, challenging our traditional understanding of ancient civilizations. As we approach Napa Iglesia, the journey itself even becomes part of the experience. The remoteness of this temple, combined with its environment devoid of sensory stimuli, suggests its likely use for exclusive shamanic rituals, similar to other temples of this type found around the world. The palpable energy of the site is inescapable, and is thought to be influenced by the Earth's electromagnetic currents that the temple's false doorway marks, often associated with out-of-body states. The intrigue deepens when the structure itself is examined. The main portal is an inverted V-shaped entrance. It has been described as a marvel of ancient craftsmanship. Its dimensions are not accidental, the ratio of length to height is 3 to 1, a perfect fifth in the second octave. The pitch ratio is 5 to 6, a minor third. This 5 to 6 ratio appears to be a coded representation of the motion of the Earth, a celestial dance in which the Earth's pole takes 25,920 years to complete one complete rotation on its axis, while the equatorial plane shifts 4 degrees every 21,000 years. This ratio is encoded in another unusual temple, the Pyramid in Egypt, called Bent. The ceiling of Napa Waka Cave is another architectural wonder. It is precisely cut at specific angles of 60 and 52 degrees. Intriguingly, this matches the angles of the two great pyramids of Giza, Egypt. These correspondences suggest connections between civilizations that are thought never to have interacted, and beg the question, how could these architectural similarities have arisen in cultures that were independently geographically and temporally distinct? The site has not withstood the ravages of time and has suffered from the strong earthquakes that frequently rock the region. However, another interesting feature of this site remains, the use of a specific type of stone. The creators chose the exact spot on the mountainside where there is a single outcrop of bluestone, a rock known for its excellent piezoelectric qualities and used in early radio receivers, as well as its magnetic properties, which are useful characteristics for shamanic journeys. This precise choice corresponds with the work of the architects of Stonehenge, who took great pains to find the same granite for their construction. The Napa Waka bluestone is skillfully carved in three niches, with the central one cut in the musical ratio of 3 to 2, a perfect quintet. Although part of it was destroyed with dynamite by religious fanatics, the delicate craftsmanship of the workmanship is still evident today. Napa Iglesia's fascinating discovery raises more questions than it answers. His story, told in stone and silence, hints at a complex past in which knowledge may have flowed freely between ancient civilizations, challenging our understanding of our ancestors. Lead Sarcophagus Discovered in Granada In the heart of Granada, beneath the historic Villamina building, a mystery has been unearthed, an echo of the distant past that has remained hidden for centuries, buried beneath layers of sandstone and mud. A team of archaeologists, led by Angel Rodriguez, 
stumbled upon the unexpected find while conducting a routine survey to make sure no significant historical remains were buried beneath the planned construction sites. However, their exploration turns from routine to unusual when they discover a Roman grave buried two and a half meters below the surface, topped with a lead sarcophagus that weighs 300 to 350 kilogram. This lead sarcophagus is believed to date from the 2nd or 3rd century AD, a time when such funerary vessels were extremely rare and highly prized commodities in Andalusia. The industry for making these sarcophagi was isolated in the city of Córdoba, more than 200 kilometers away, making them expensive and difficult to obtain. This particular sarcophagus, Rodriguez says, is a testament to the wealth and status of the family to which it belonged. But wealth in life did not necessarily translate to wealth in death. The team did not expect to find a treasure trove of gems or valuable possessions in the artifact, as in those times such material wealth was usually left for the living. The real treasure, however, lies in the opportunity this discovery gives archaeologists. Lead sarcophagi are prized by researchers for their excellent preservation properties. Inside, the team expects to find a body, personal effects and textiles, all in potentially good condition. The artifacts will illuminate the burial rituals of this era and provide a tangible link to the people who lived, loved and mourned in Roman Spain. The discovery of this sarcophagus sparked a stormy dialogue among a multidisciplinary team of physical anthropologists, restorers and archaeologists. The find has been moved to the Archaeological and Ethnological Museum of Granada and researchers are carefully considering the next steps to open this veritable time capsule. Once the body is removed, it will be transported to the Forensic Anthropology Laboratory at the University of Granada for further study, while the sarcophagus and its contents will remain at the museum for continued analysis. Interestingly, the sarcophagus was discovered in an area that was once a rural suburb on the outskirts of Granada, around the banks of the river Dara. Although this area was primarily used for agriculture, Rodriguez suggests that its proximity to the river may have conveyed its special significance as a burial site. Thus he attempts to explain the presence of this solitary Roman grave. The find is reminiscent of a similar discovery in 1902 when a lead sarcophagus was found that was looted before being examined. This time, however, the sarcophagus was in capable hands. While waiting to be opened, it still has much to reveal. Covered in clay and sand, the team expects that inscriptions or other external scars may surface during the cleaning, further adding to our understanding of this find. This discovery reminds us that the past never goes away, but only waits beneath the surface of the present, ready to share its stories with those who want to hear them. If you liked this video, subscribe to the channel.